everybody, this is Chef Banayoti, and today we are making our 150th YouTube video with Sarah. Hello. And we are making eggplant parmesan. We have eggplant, breadcrumbs, parmesan, grated parmesan. Yep, the best. Mozzarella, eggs, and, and the sauce. Fresh sauce. You want to taste it? Yeah. See how you like it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here Smoke you go. Food. It's a little cold because we're going to re-eat it because yeah. it's made this morning. Mm. Is that good? Yep. Okay. That is good. So we're going to start off by peeling our eggplants. Yep. And then we're going to slice our eggplants into evenly sliced circles. Do you know why we do that? Um, so then we place the mozzarella on top because- But why do we slice the eggplant in, in circles? Because what are we going to do to the eggplant? We're going to- Stack them up, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to make eggplant stacks. Okay, so then after we do that, what are we going to dip the eggplant in? We're going to first dip them in eggs, Mm -hmm. And then breadcrumb with a little bit of parmesan. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to put olive oil mm -hmm. in the oven. Heat it up and fry the eggplant. And then we're going to, uh, like you said, stack the eggplant. And then, what's that? <laughs> and then put <laughs> mozzarella on top. The sauce and then chuck it in the oven and then there you go. So easy. Yep. Simple. Simple. Let's do this. Okay. Time to slice. <laughs> and corn. Here you go. So here, you take the two very even. So here, I'll take the two bare ones. You take the two smaller ones. Okay, because when you cut them, I'm going to show you. You're going to cut them shorter. in slices. <laughs> He has a mohawk, he doesn't. So watch, this is what I do. And you're gonna copy me, okay? Cut the top. I'm gonna cut the top off. See, see where, hold on, see where the point comes? Yep. You're gonna lift the point, hold on. Yep, and you're gonna slice it right down. Try to be, try to make it as flat as you can. So here. Perfection. Okay, and then you can toss that. Now, do the other one. And also, I see the little seeds. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like eggplant because of the seeds. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Now you need the peeler. Yep. So what you're gonna do, I only have one peeler, so we're gonna share. Yep. You're gonna take this peeler and you're gonna start right at the top, all right? Okay. And you're gonna peel all the way down, almost making like a ribbon. Okay. Kind of like, um, so I'm saying this to like help me with the peeling. Mm -hmm. Kind of like peeling a tomato. I mean, not a tomato, <laughs> a potato. <laughs> yes. And the skin is is thin. So here, you yeah. try. Go for it. Okay. So, in the top. Okay, as you see, we are done with the peeling eggplants. So what are we gonna do next? Okay, so we're going to cut the bottom part of the eggplant off, and then we are going to cut them into little circles. Okay, so it's very important that when you cut your eggplant, that you do them evenly. Yeah. So I, I always just cut the, the butt of the eggplant off like that, not toss it. 
And then, yep, do it to your other one. Yeah, I'll put the garbage between us. Basketball? He scored! <laughs> Done. Okay. So now I start with the, the small end. Okay? So start with the small end. Watch. Look at how look at the thickness. Watch what I do first. Look, ready? Okay. And you want to saw it back and forth because you want to make sure that you get it even yeah. throughout as you're cutting it. That's one of those kind of. So not so there? Yeah. I would make it a, come a little closer, like like that. Okay. And you want to saw it. So yeah, that's great. You did a good first slice. See this? See how it's yeah. pretty even throughout? And then you pile them on top of each other because what you're going to do is you're going to build your eggplant stacks by size. I think we did a good job slicing. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Water break. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is what? What's the next step? Oh, uh, we are going to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crack the eggs. Dip the eggplant in the egg. Then dip it in a mixture of this. <laughs> we understood everything, Chef. Don't worry. Yes. All right, are you good at cracking eggs, Chef? Um, yeah, kind of. Okay, so let's, let's get to it. Let's move that out of the way. I've also tried cracking some on one thing it cracks, but not like that. Good. Ooh, way advanced. All right, so we're gonna start with three, only because we're gonna have to um, change it over because you'll see how much the eggplant sucks up. And do you crack the egg on the side of the bowl or on the table? I do it on the side of the bowl. I do it on the table sometimes mm -hmm. because if you do it on the side, mm -hmm. it could pop the yolk. Oh really? I didn't know yeah. that. That's good. Thank you for teaching that to me. I'm going to try it on the bowl though. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. You can do the third one. Okay. It looks like face. Two eyes and a mouth. <laughs> okay, wish. Come on, Chef, you finish. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm gonna make the mixture of the breadcrumbs and the cheese. There's no measurements needed. You just, just go fill it up. You have to figure it out, people. You yeah. put breadcrumbs. But don't, uh, don't cheese. go cheap on the cheese. Uh, the cheese is what gives it the flavor. And then you just mix it up. We have a great team here. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to get started? Let's do this. Eggs. So we keep it in a train. Okay. So what we do, we to make sure, yep, we want to bring this over, and when we're done, we're going to line the eggplant uh, on here. And also, it's going to be easy because you just need to dip one side, dip other side.
Yeah, we need more space. I think we're good. I think we're, um, yeah. I think we should fry these up. Here, you do the last one. Take the lid. I will not edit that one, Farayoti. <laughs> I will make you one. <laughs> hundred bucks to keep that in. You know in. what we can do? Actually. hundred bucks to keep it in? Yes. Got it, gimme. <laughs> gimme! <laughs> what we are going to do now is fry our bread and eggplant. How are we going to do that? So, what we're going to do first is... What kind of olive oil? Read the label. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. You want a nice coat. This is not a fat-free meal, people. That's it. I do the same thing in this one. Just shake it around. Yeah. Now what do you need to do? Turn it on. This one. Did you do it? Yep. Okay. We're gonna let those heat up. Okay. Okay. So now you're transferring the breaded eggplant into the pan with the. Very good. <laughs> and we heated it up first, right? Um, yeah. Yep, to medium. Yep, I'm gonna help you along, okay? And we're using tongs so that we don't burn ourselves and splatter I olive oil. Yep, I think the other pan probably not. And we're gonna cover it. Yeah. Okay, and now we're gonna put some in this one. Okay, but this is gonna splatter, so be careful as you put it in, okay? I don't want you to get burned. I think we should add more in here. No, that's, per that's perfect. So you don't, we only want it to be covered on one side. You don't want it to like really go over the eggplant because you're gonna flip them. Okay. Okay, but I'll make more room. We're gonna taste test one. Good? Mm -hmm. Yum. All right, we gotta get back to the job. We gotta flip more uh, eggplant. All Ready? right, since that one is good, you could do the rest. <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> so how do you make it put warm? Okay. 
So we are done uh, frying our eggplants, and now we're going to preheat the oven. So what temperature? 375 degrees. It's a little more. Between the 350 and the 400. Oh yeah. Right there, perfect. And now it's gonna take a little while to preheat. That light will come off when it's ready to pop it. Okay. okay. Those are good. Don't look at those. They're mine. <laughs> Alright, Chef Pete, I'm gonna put these. Last ones. These are the last ones. Hot. Last ones. It's hot. It's hot. I know. It smells good in here. It smells like an Italian kitchen. Yes, ma'am. Does it smell any different than a Greek kitchen? Kind of. <laughs> yeah. And well, kitchen. this would have been uh, used for moussaka in a Greek kitchen, right? Mm. With uh, well, yes. potatoes. Oh, yeah. And also, my favorite part about moussaka is like the like if you get the potatoes like crunchy, uh -huh. and like you get the bechamel cream, meat sauce, and potatoes. Take a bite of it. And also, um, uh, like I said. Um, yes, sir. So, when I said that Sophia is in New Jersey or Albany for a lacrosse tournament, she's in Texas, and um, she won't get to Monday. Wait, Monday, November twenty second. We are going to make this teacher for her coming back home from Texas. So, if I post this tomorrow, she will see that we are making pastiche for her. Well, you can't. <laughs> that was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> and I'll tell you something, one nice thing that you can do with eggplant parmesan is it freezes really well. Ooh. So you can, after you bake it in here, you can take it and put it in a Tupperware and pop it in the freezer and it's good for a month. Let's see if that will happen. <laughs> Only if there's any left. That's right, Sarah. Especially if and, it, and it will last in the fridge for a good five days. So what are we going to do now? Okay, so we're going to scoop some of the sauce, then pour it onto our pan, and then spread it around. We're doing this because this is the base layer of the eggplant. I almost said lasagna. <laughs> it, it, we're gonna layer it like a lasagna. Yeah. Some people like to slice their eggplants longwise, and then they have like more of like a big noodle. But we like to make eggplant towers. This is how my nana did it sometimes. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you a little more. Just to give, just to give you a little bit. Now spread that. This is giving me nostalgic for the lasagna video. All right, what comes next? Uh, the eggplant. Yes, so what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we get the eggplants, kind of the bigger ones, and we wanna lay them down. So get so some of the bigger ones. Like this? Yeah, that's perfect. And you're gonna do three and three. Uno.
oke okay. yuk the cheesiest eggplant farm. And there's nothing cold about There's nothing cold. Too much cheese. <laughs> there's not. You are 100% right. Especially if you're counting. Yes. Got that right. Put it in the box. Parmesan. And now what is the last ingredient? Basil. Basil. And you can, if you want, you can wait till the end. So maybe just put like a little... I just break them. Break them? Mm -hmm. It just makes the house smell nice too. Sometimes we garnish it after. Last step. What do we do? Chuck it in the oven. All right, 375, 30 to 45 minutes. Key indicator that it's ready is when the cheese starts to fall. Then there's some nice and then it's nice and uh, cheesy. Mm -hmm. You have a cheese pull. Yeah, where is it on the middle shelf? Slide your hands. Do you need help? Watch your hands. Close that oven up. And now we wait. We'll be back in 35 to 40 minutes. 35 to 40 minutes. Yeah. That looks so good. Yes, it is. So the eggplant parmesan is out of the oven. Now we are going to cut it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you a plate. Hold on. You want it on a piece of bread? Yep. Chef P. Whoa. Oh wow. That looks good. It's gonna be hot. That looks good. Yeah, make a divot. Let me know how it tastes. Okay. That's how they're good. That's my god. Mm. That's so good. So the eggplant parm has a nice crust to it. The sauce is nice and sweet. And the cheese is mm -hmm. nice and cheesy. Thank you, Sarah, for making a eggplant parm with me. And thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Bye. Bye. And that's a dog in the background. <laughs>